Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the 32nd problem that is three way partition of an array around a given value. Okay, so come let's see how we can solve this problem. So guys, here I've opened the problem given an array of size n and a range a comma b. The task is to partition the array around the range such that array is divided into three parts. One, all element smaller than a comes first. All elements in range a to b comes next. All element greater than b appears in the end. The individual element of three sets can appear in any order. You are required to return the modified array. So the question is that we have an array and we have a range. In that array, the values of the range are less than the least values in the array. Mein pehle and after that, array ke elements jitne bhi honge, jo us range ke andar aare honge, wo us array mein uske baad honge. And jo range ke rightmost value hai, usse bade elements array mein last mein aenge. Okay? And order koi matter nahi karta, order kisi bhi order mein ho sakta hai. Uh, so to solve this problem, mere paas ek approach hai, that will take linear time. So now I'm going to show you how we can solve it in linear time. So guys, for example, I've taken this array of 5 elements and I've taken a range of 3,4. And the time complexity of this approach is order of n. So before starting anything, I will take two variables that is left and right. And these are my pointers. And as you know, the left pointer will travel from left to right and the right pointer will travel from right to left. And I will initialize it by 0 and this one with n minus 1. That is the last element of this array according to the 0 base index. So now I will start traversing this array and while traversal, suppose our pointer is at 6, I will have to check only two conditions. I will check if 6 is less than the leftmost value of the range that is 3 or not and it is a false. So I will check if 6 is greater than the rightmost value. Yeah, it is true. So I am simply going to swap the current value with the rightmost value that is 5 in this case. So I'm going to swap these values and after swapping the array will look like this. After that, I'm going to decrement our rightmost pointer. That is if it was here before this swapping, now it will come here. After that, I'm not going to push the iterator when this condition is true. Instead of that, I'm going to check the current element once again, if five is less than three or not. So this is false. So now I'm going to check if five is greater than four. So yeah, this is true. So now I'm going to swap the current element with the rightmost element. So now our right pointer is at 1. So I'm going to swap 5 and 1. So, so after swapping, our array will look like this. And since I told when this part is true, then we are not going to push the iterator on the next element. Instead of that, I will simply going to check this current element once again. So now I'm going to check 1 is less than 3. So this is true. When this is true, I'm going to simply swap the current element with the leftmost element. But coincidentally here, leftmost element and the current element is at same position. So nothing going to happen. After that, when this condition is true, I'm going to increment the iterator. Unlike the other condition, also I will increment the left pointer. So the next changes will happen on the next element. Okay. So our pointer comes at 3. So now, just like I said that we are only two conditions check that are leftmost se less elements and rightmost se bade elements. In this range, we are not going to do any operation for the beach elements. Ke liye hum log koi bhi wale. Usse by default, we will stay in that position. Pe so now, our iterator will come at 2. So 2 is less than 3. Yes, it is true. So now, I am going to swap the current value that is 2 with the leftmost value and now the left pointer comes at 3 so this swap will happen so after swapping the array will look like this uh, and similarly the array will be traversed but here a point is that I will not traverse the traverse pura n to the end I will traverse i less than equal to r tak. that means that our right pointer hai, wo, राइट टू लेफ्ट जब शिफ्ट होते रहेगा जैसे ही हम एक ऐसे पोजीशन पे आते हैं जहां पे हमारा जो आई इटरेटर है वो राइट right इटरेटर के बराबर या लेफ्ट मोस्ट वैल्यू पे आ जाए सो so हमारा लूप वहीं तक कंटिन्यू होगा ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विद दिस अप्रोच नाउ लेट्स इंप्लीमेंट दिस आईडिया इन सी++ सो गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेक टू वेरिएबल्स लेफ्ट 
and initialize it by zero and I'll take a right variable and, and I will initialize it by array size minus one. And now I'm going to traverse this array for int i equal to zero, i less than equal to r, i plus plus. And I will check two conditions if array of i is less than the leftmost value of the range that is a if this is true then i'm going to swap the current element and the leftmost element that is array of l and also in this case as i told the iterator will increment so i'm not going to do anything because i've made the loop generic that it will always increment in every loop so I am simply going to increment the left pointer and in the else if condition I will check if array of i that is the current element is greater than the rightmost value of the range that is b if this is true or not. If it is true then I am going to swap array of i the current element and the rightmost element and also I am going to decrement the right pointer. And since I said our iterator will not go ahead, instead of that it will remain there and check if the current element is uh, following those conditions or not. So for that, since I have made the for loop generic, that means that every loop mein wo iterator plus plus ho hai. So if we have to stop the iterator here, then we have to compensate i minus minus karke se compensate karna That's it guys. And this is how you can solve this problem. Our task is complete. I'm simply going to submit this. Okay, so the answer is correct. So this is it guys, this is how you can solve this problem. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.